hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this simple text animation inside of cinema 4d without using any third party plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in cinema 4d so first thing we need to do we need to create one text so i'll go to the more graph and i'll choose this more text simply select this text in the text option i'm going to type capital a and width i'm going to choose 50 and we need to change the font we don't want that font so you are free to choose whatever font you want but i would suggest uh, uh, try to make something bold or black i'm going to choose pop in black so it will be become a little bit thick so select this text and as you can see the depth is 50 if you want to increase i will make it 60 for now yeah this looks good to me now select this more text and press control i mean hold control and simply drag it down to create a duplicate and we will alt click on these two options so it will hide this extra one so this is extra so simply double click i'll call it as extra and hit enter now select this more text and press C to make this object editable. Click on this plus icon, then this plus icon, then this plus icon, then this plus icon. Yeah. So select this spline A and hold shift and then select this more text. Now as you can see all of them are selected. Simply right click and I am going to choose connect object plus delete. So as you can see this is our shape now uh, as you can see the instead of text we have shape like uh, if you select this as you can see we have these points etc etc and if you can and see you can select the faces also so i'll hit ctrl z yeah so select this points hit ctrl a right click and i'm going to choose optimize so now you can move these points or whatever you want like that so this is our one text so i'll select this more text i'll alt click on these two options again so it will hide this it means they are still there but they are just hided now select this extra and by holding ctrl i'm going to create a duplicate and alt click on this two so it will enable this and for the width i'm going to choose around 30 like that and height let's choose 20 and let's decrease the depth to 10 or let's say 5 i think 5 looks good now let's enable this more text again and let's see now i'll go to the front view and i'll check out the size of this a as you can see the size is a little bit slow so i'll move something around let's say 30 or let's say 25 i think 25 looks good now select this and press c to make this object editable again again click on this plus icons select this spline by holding shift select this null object which is name is extra one right click and connect object plus delete so we have this now hit enter and let's call this as shift a i mean capital a and hit enter again now select this one hit enter and let's call this as collider body and hit enter now what we will do we will press shift c so it will bring this option the shortcut key uh sorry the shortcut key to enable this option is shift c so and over here you can type emitter as you can see we will get this option so simply double click on it so by default the size of emitter is like this if you go to the emitter as you can see size x and size y is 100 um, centimeter and 100 centimeter so what we will do we will make this one and one now uh, what we will do we'll move this emitter over here somewhere around over here yeah this looks good to me now select this a and move inside this emitter like this now we will select this emitter we will go to the particles and over here you will get this option show object so simply click on it so as you can see this option is disappeared now now select this collider body alt click again this two so we can see our emitter now if you hit play as you can see the emitter is gonna emit those a's like that but they are going in this directions so now what we will do we will select this a right click go to the simulation tag and choose rigid body 
and now if you hit play as you can see they are falling downwards hit ctrl d to see our project settings and in dynamics make sure that your gr gravity is 100 centimeters like that now what we'll do the, now we have applied the rigid body tag now as you can see i have written over here is collider body so for that let's enable this i'll click right click simulation tag and we will choose collider body track now we'll go to the collision initial tag apply a tag to children individual events all and automatic i'll use static mesh now alt click again to hide this and now if i hit play they will fall like this let's go over here front menu and over by holding alt i'll enable this collider body and let's see what will happen as you can see we are getting something like that let's increase the duration to 180 like that now we will select this emitter birth editor i'm going to type 100 birth render i'm going to type 100 and now we will see what will happen we will get something like this now if i see this over here and if i hide this collider body as you can see in front view we will get something like this now after that we will bring our flow and let's hit play let's see what will happen we'll get something like this now move this a little bit over here or let's say move this over here only yeah select this flow right click choose simulation tag choose collider body again again the same settings I'll just static mesh and now let's see Oops. all of them are gonna fall on this and if you want you can move this a little bit downwards like this you can select this emitter and you can reduce the speed to 80 so it will become a little bit slow the speed of emission and now i want at 140 it should stop to emit or let's say at 100 it should stop to emit so as you can see over here we have this option called stop emission i'll choose 100 and let's see so after 100 uh, frame it's not gonna emit any letters like that i think we need to increase it to up to 130 because we have to fill this all thing so now i'll hit play again as you can see still few portion is remaining so i think 150 is good so let's see what we'll get let's make this 200 let's see what will happen so i think this looks good to me now if i hit ctrl r obviously we are not gonna see anything different so for now what we will do we will double click to create material simply double click on it go to the colors and over here i am going to choose white color only and enable the luminance panel and brightness i am going to choose 50 or let's say 75 and apply this color to our a let's go few frames forward and now we will bring our area light but before that let's enable our camera and double click select this camera and increase the field of view a little bit select any text like this a and press s and let's zoom out camera a little bit and we will adjust this camera like that now select this light let's go to the top view 
I'll move this over here press R for rotation rotate it like that and rotate it like that go to the front right view press E W and let's move this over here then go to the top view I'll move this over here by holding control let's move this over here press R for rotation then W for to enable our world axis and let's move this over here and now if you hit control R we will get something like this let's select this light in shadow I'll choose area light similarly in this light I'll choose area and now if you hit control R obviously we will get some little bit shallows hit control shift Z if your camera has moved so hit control shift Z again or you can select this camera right click go to the cinema 4d tag and choose protection so now as you can see you cannot change the camera you can disable this camera and then you can change the viewport but if it's enabled it's not gonna move because we have applied this protection protection tag now we will select this material again and let's go to the luminance and choose 40 percent and let's see what we will get now so as you can see we are getting some little bit shadows and if you want then you can apply this material to this white thing i'm in the flow and then i'm going to create one plane like this press r for rotation and by holding shift let's rotate it on 90 degree and apply this material to this one press e and let's move this over here and this one over here let's move this over here like this now select our model tool and we will increase the size of it let's adjust the position like that and now if you hit ctrl r let's see we will get something like this let's select this and move this a little bit backward like that and if you hit ctrl r we will get something like this or instead of that you can create another material simply double click and change the color to black like this and simply apply this color to this backgrounds let's make them black and now if you want then you can go to the reflectance and you can choose backman let's reduce the roughness and increase the reflections and increase the roughness a little bit and i think uh, after applying black color we don't need that plane so i'll delete that plane and now if you hit ctrl r we will get something like this let's hit play and let's see what we will get get something like this and if you hit ctrl r you'll get something like this and if you want then you can uh, disable this luminance and you can see how the things goes but i think this is too much shadow so let's enable this luminance and let's make the brightness to 20 or let's make it 40 yeah this looks good to me and if you want then you can select this material by holding ctrl i'll create a duplicate now select this material go to the color options make it a complete black color for this color and also for this luminance you can choose black color and in emitter i'm going to select this a by holding ctrl i'll create a duplicate now apply this matte and replace it with black color and now let's hit play again so we will get the combination of black and white and now after our animation complete if i hit ctrl r we will get something like this instead of black you are free to choose any kind of color but i am going to choose black for now because it's easy to replace after that in after effects or anything so yep, with the help of this kind of techniques you can create some text animations you are free to choose any text you want so that's it for the today's video we will see you in the next lecture so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned